Hey, Liz. Good morning. Welcome to Car Rides with Connor. The time is. I forgot the garage. Oh, dear. Intro. The time is 7.02. We're just now leaving the parking lot. The driveway, sorry. Yeah. Some things don't change. Yeah. But cheers. It's Friday. Yep. It's Friday. I'm closing the garage. Yep, it's closing. Okay, sweet. Excellent. So it's been a little while since we've put well, a while. Yeah. And what I didn't know, some people are actually saying, oh, do you do your little YouTube thing anymore? Yeah. It's how I used to catch up <laughs> with you guys. Yeah. So who knew? Yeah, we That's still That's sweet. Yeah. It was nice to know that people wanted to catch up with us. It will, it is, yeah, it's nice. And I'm sure, well, Connor's been drinking his coffee pretty much every day, right? Yep. Always drink your cafe in the morning. You uh, posed an interesting question to me this morning about coffee. Um, if I had a choice. Oh, right. <laughs> would you rather... Wave to the bus stop, people. Mm. Okay. Yeah, would you rather be drinking coffee at a cafe in Paris or a coffee shop in New York? Coffee shop... Oh, cafe in Paris. Oh, here comes Miss Lee with her puppies. Yeah. <clears throat> so cute. Yeah, I think... Yeah, Paris is great and all, but... I think I prefer New York. Wait a minute, this coffee cream is gingerbread? Yep. Seasonal. Because it's almost next week, it'll be Thanksgiving. It's got a short week. Hopefully, you're not working. Hopefully. I've got a request into the manager, but we don't know yet. And if you do, we're going to work with it, right? Mm -hmm. You are not going to miss out on a turkey dinner. We won't let that I happen. Won't. I won't. What are you looking forward to most at the uh, Thanksgiving feast? I think I'm looking forward to the to the turkey, the centerpiece. The turkey. Yeah. I think Uncle Chad is going to fry, fry it. one, fry one, smoke the other. Two wonderful choices. Which way will you go? Will you dab Fried. in both? <gasps> you won't try both? I think I'll try, uh, yeah, I think I'll try one, one of each. So... Yeah, and after Thanksgiving, we can finally move on to the to one of my favorite holidays ever, Christmas. Thank you. Were also this morning giving me lots of different greetings of Christmas. I can say Merry Christmas in five languages. Hit us. Meli Kaliki Maka. That's Hawaiian. Mm -hmm. Frolika Weihnachten. That's German. Yeah. Joyeux Noel. That's French. Uh huh. Feliz Navidad, Spanish. Merry Christmas, English. Oh, I guess you weren't lying. Um, we had a kind of a cool conversation the other, was it last week? Oh, I think it was uh, the week before last week. Whenever, it was pretty fab. Yeah, we were talking about different, sorry, different groups of animals. So I would say an animal and Connor would tell me the name of their group. Yeah. And I'm here for you. Here to tell you. Sorry, need more coffee. I'm here to tell you. I learned quite a few things. Yeah. So we thought we'd share. Yeah. So uh should we start off with some of the obvious ones? Yeah. Whale. Pod. Crow. Murder. That was cool. Um, not because I like murder, just because that was a weird name for an animal group. Um, not at all. Crows are often affiliated with death, so the fact that their groups would be called murders makes sense. Why are they just like fictionally with books? Did you ever read Edgar Allan Poe, Mom? No. Did you? Some. Yes. Why? What does he say about them? Well, he didn't use crows, he used ravens, but that's besides oh, the point. So, oh, so what's a group of ravens? Well, since they're not too far off from crows, just slightly bigger, well, straighter bill. Google it. Those are I need confirmation. What do you call a group? You don't call it a flock? Mm. While you Google that, this was one of my favorites. 
a hedgehog. Prickle. That's so cute. A group of hedgehogs is a prickle. I don't even know why I think that's the cutest thing in the world, but can Odd. you imagine? Okay. A group of crows is called murders, but a group of ravens is called an unkindness? Are you joking? No, it's right there. An unkindness? That doesn't even make sense. It doesn't make one lick of sense. Well, okay. And then, okay, there was the prickle, and then what else was super adorable? Oh, 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 guinea pigs. Um, yes, I believe they were called, uh, hang on, what were they called again? Connor, you don't forget this kind of stuff. A muddle. A muddle, a muddle, right, thank you. A muddle. How, how, first of all, we are in a freaky Friday, if I'm remembering things and you're not. Yeah. It is always the opposite. Yeah. And then, um, was a lobsters? A group of lobsters? Oh, lobsters. Uh, no, no, Is not a bed? bed. Not a, not a bed. I think. Was I'm, it a pod? No, beds are oysters. Ooh. <clears throat> anyway, there are some funny. How do you, who makes these names up? That's what I want to know. Scientists. Why would they call it an unkindness? Oh, there's an unkindness of ravens. Yes. So it's almost poetic. I'm getting all dreamy eyed about it. I just think it's weird. Okay, update. Weird story. Are you ready for this? Yeah. We're about to come up onto the turning where Connor and I would always see the walkers. And I think we nicknamed them Tim and Sally. Tim and Sally and Karen. Karen, because she always had the knee socks. I'm going to tell you a story and you're not going to even believe me. Mm. Guess who I just sold a countertop to at work this past week? Who? Yes. Karen? Yes. I'm not, I swear <clears throat> she came into my showroom and started to tell me how she likes to walk in the mornings. This is a true story. And I was like, oh. And she says, um, because of where I live, I have to walk on Bethelview Road. And then I just started to look at her. Never seen her up close. And just, you know how you can take, like, the hair? And I said, do you wear knee socks and a fanny pack? And she said, yes, I do. And I was almost wanted her autograph. So what was her real name? That's a great question. Are you ready? Okay, so we nicknamed her Karen. Yeah. Her real name is, drum roll please. Vicky. Vicky? Vicky. I have a coworker named Vicky. Well, now her real name is Vicky. It kind of like, for a little while, like, my bubble was burst. You know, she was our Karen. And now the wor world and reality took her away and made her Vicky. Uh, get it? There'll be other Karens, Mom. There will. That is for sure. And then I talked about the little Asian couple. And she told me their real names. And thank God for right now, I can't remember them. See, I don't remember anything. <laughs> but I can't remember them. So... But for another moment, that fantasy, Tim and Sally disappeared. And they became their real names. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and she knew the, the heavyset guy that walks along there as well. So it was a mind-blowing week for me. Yeah. One of our walkers walked in my door, and she purchased from me. She's going to do an outdoor kitchen. Mm. Yep, they wanted to do an outdoor kitchen with... Uh, a grill and some countertops. Nice. Anyway, so anything else that you're looking forward to you want to share well, with our subscribers? Where'd Coco go? Coke! Um, well, anything else new on the horizon? Any good movies releasing? Ooh, there 
is a movie about Napoleon coming. I saw the previews for that. Yeah. That does look good. Yeah. You'll probably go with your dad, though. Every time I want to go somewhere with you, take go with dad first. Well, that doesn't mean we can't see it. We can, even if you already go see it? Yeah. No one ever said we couldn't. Well, I just wanted to share the initial viewing experience together. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, but life doesn't always go the way you plan it. Those are true words. So am I just going to have to roll with it? <clears throat> yep. Well, I still, right now, I still have a shot to be the first one to take you. Because mm. not out yet. Yeah. And maybe I'll just beat dad to the punch on that one. Hmm. When does it come out? The 22nd, I think. Of November or December? November. Oh, so it's like a Thanksgiving week release. Remember we always used to go to the movies the night before Thanksgiving? That was our little tradition. Yeah. Maybe we'll make it our tradition this year. Maybe, yeah. Sounds fun. Woo! Mm -hmm. Well, I, for one, am happy it's Friday. It's a little overcast and gloomy, but it's not cold. All right, well, you're getting awfully quiet. Yeah. No, there she to. is, there's the lady. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we are pulling into the parking lot here. We haven't done this in a little while, but should we have a little look-see at the state of things? Let's see, you're 14 minutes late. Gosh, I am the worst transportation option that you've got. Yeah. You didn't have to agree so fast. <laughs> the only one who gets you here on time, I think, is Tony. Yeah. He's the only reliable one in this group. Yeah. Wait, did Jack get you here on time? Yeah. All right, bring your banana peel with you because okay. I'm here to tell you I don't want that in my car. It's, it's All right. banana-y. All right. Ooh, Christmas has arrived. Yep. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and as always, stay classy USA and UK. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. All right, bye, bud. Love you. Bye. Still wearing the ugly damn belt. There will be no getting rid of that thing. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed today's episode and um, thanks for watching us and we appreciate you. And I was just shocked at how many people noticed we weren't posting. So it was kind of cool. Anyway, thanks guys and have a happy Friday and a wonderful, happy, safe Thanksgiving if you celebrate next week. <laughs>